Be Petro 062. People ask me about my wall, <laughs> okay? This is my wall, okay, right here, okay? You see that? There's two walls, but basically it's one wall. Because at the end, wrapping around that ugly bush that I'm tearing out, uh, it, the two hook together, the top one wraps around, comes around the bottom, goes all the way down there, it ends down there, but the top one wraps around that bush, okay? And then the bottom one comes out, see where all my geodes and rock samples are? See how it blends? It blends out. I don't have a cap on it. I couldn't afford it at the time. It was like $30,000 for the wall. I only paid $15 or something like that a square foot. So it wraps around and then hooks into the front porch. And then I had the front steps poured because I had one time had walls. This, uh, that was a, uh, that was a, I had ties, wooden ties for steps years ago. And it really looked bad. I got pictures of it someplace. <laughs> and uh, we tore all that out because it rotted. You know, they were supposed to be treated ties. And they only last a few years. And when you got that starting to fall in, you got a problem. And I had a blacktop driveway and I had it concreted and I got a wall. It goes all the way around the back and it blends into the driveway. And uh, that wall quits there, okay? Uh, what's, what I'm going to do is uh, show you something that I didn't uh, expect. See how it turns black? That is because this line, that's north, straight north. When I made my house, I used a, I used a compass, okay? I used a compass. That's, 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 that's straight west, you know? I used a compass to set my house up because of my sunroom, you know? A sunroom. Now it's starting to, there's a little bit of sun coming in. This is like September 6th or somewhere in there, 8th. And it, now it's starting to come in because the entire summer between May, May, June, July, August, sun don't come in at all. I got a three foot overhang. The sun don't come in at all. I don't want the sun in there. And in the winter time, it comes in there from morning till evening, cause of where it comes up, cause of where the sun comes up. In the winter, the sun comes up over there and goes that way and goes across and comes down there. And in the summer, it comes up behind the house, back that way, comes up over the top, real high, way up, and, come, and comes down way over there comes down that way the sun's always back there where my beautiful sunsets are okay okay it gets a little bit in the morning and the evening this is like I don't know nine or ten I don't know what time it is and uh, that's what it does in the morning and it comes opposite in the evening right now so you don't get anything this is September, I don't know, 6th or 7th, 8th, okay? That is summer, okay? See, right now, it's just barely hitting those windows. Those windows, they're more sun windows. They, they, uh, there's two on each one because of the sun, and I got a two-foot overhang on there, so it don't block, it don't block as much sun. So anyway... What I didn't, what uh, the, the main point of this video is mold on the wall. Okay, see how black they get? And, and if you pressure wash them, they'll be like that next year. You know? They just turn turtle black, man. You can wash them, it's hard to wash. It takes a long time, but they just turn black again, you know? I got caps on the top because I had to raise the top wall up another block plus the cap. 
to put more dirt so the water sheds away from the wall. Okay, this was supposed to be seven feet from this wall to this wall so that I could drive up the end with my riding lawnmower all the way down, turn around, and come back. Well, the bush overtook it, cutting all that out. Start over. Uh, but anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, the wall. Black. See that? Mold. Black mold. Only because you know, uh, the sun just hits it once in a while. A little bit in the summer, the sun hits it there. And then over in the evening, it hits it a little bit. Not enough to get the mold off of it. And see that? That's because it's hitting pretty hard in the summer. It hits that pretty hard. Not as much, not as much mold because of the uh, sun. The sun on it, drying it out. See how to curve there? The sun, the sun hits that harder than this. I, man, it takes forever. It takes forever to pressure wash that. And the driveway turns black too because the sun don't hit it. See that? See, right now it's, oh, I don't know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, the sun, the sun in the winter, in the winter, that shadow is way out there and it stays snow. Snow stays here, don't melt because the sun basically never hits it. Never hits uh, way up into there. The sun comes up over there and goes across and down this area. The sun never hits it. So that has to do with facing south. But anyhow, that's what makes my sunroom function. And that is what I got. And that's what I thought I'd show you. The, how the mold builds up on the wall. And I'm just going to let it turn black. And I'll have a black wall. It'll be alright, I guess. Anyway, B, B Petro 62 reporting for my, my wall being uh, moldy, you know? Get a moldy wall, you know? Get used to it, right? I ain't going to fix that. And it's there forever. But I recommend the wall. That first wall was 30000 bucks. That's when I was working. When I was working, I had to make a loan for it. The second wall was, was that piece over there. They put that in. The loop from this wall to that wall. That was this part two. And part three was... That wall used to taper, the top wall used to taper in front of the bush, and boy, it was hard to cut the lawn there. And I had them build it up and spin it all the way around the bush so it's easy to cut. Okay? So that's, that's uh, the part. And I, God, I forgot how much that cost. I don't know how many thousands that cost. But I got about $40,000, $35,000 in this wall, and I think it was $15 a square foot when I built it. And uh, Pete and Laurel Leibmar built it. Great people, great people. He moved. He's not here no more. Everybody asked me, where's, where's the guy that built it? He's in uh, Naples, Florida, last time I heard. And uh, I can't find him on Facebook or nothing. But uh, anyway, they did a great job, really great job. And I hope he's doing well. Hope you guys are doing well, Pete and Lorelei. If you see this video, because I know you're going to be looking up wall videos. And I'm going to be here. And my wall is still perfect. Thank you. Be Petro 62 on channel 62.